I ha I did play it for the first time ever though. I played uh I played Pac Man Junior. What have you ever played Pac Man Junior? I was doing my laundry. Well, the you were back hour. home in Guatemala. I was no no no. Uh, I was. Uh, He's Pac Man Junior. He's oh, Pac you, oh, it's Pac Man. No, it's really nothing. It's like a Pong TV set. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a board that somebody is hitting. So, 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 somebody has like somebody, somebody has like out. somebody has like an old TV set up to their fucking car battery, of like a, charging people in the back. There's fucking chickens. It's just and a shit. croquet ball that's been eaten away by termites. Like, oh, he's Pac-Man Junior. Oh, <laughs> oh five dollar Pac-Man Junior. Man, I got it. Uh, no, so how close, was it? Though, Where did you? I was play at the this? twenty-four hour laundromat uh, where the homeless sleep. Where is this? Culver City. It, yeah, it's like like. Seven blocks that way. Oh, we gotta go. On what street? Uh, Venice. Oh, we're going to that, man. It's where the Mexican food place is. it where the guy with the gecko comes by and, hey, he likes <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, he might as well. Uh, but, uh, but anyways, he, he Pac-Man Jr. is hey, awesome. He, he's I lettuce. had a great time with Pac-Man Jr. He's lettuce and he's grass over. <laughs> well, <laughs> get work. The reason we don't give a fuck is how possibly <laughs> how possibly different could Pac-Man Jr. be from fucking Pac-Man? Worlds! <laughs> Worlds! Pac-Man is slow. He eats cherries. Pac-Man Jr. eats shit like Coca-Cola and, and, and martinis. No, no, but here's the thing. Like, <laughs> come on, come you, know, you know the little... Hold on! You know the... <laughs> mm. You know the little stories? <laughs> Jesus when you beat the first, When you beat the first level you of Pac-Man? You see what I deal with? Yeah. Yes. And it's just like, oh, okay, the little ghost tears his shit out. And then Miss Pac-Man, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, they yeah. fall in love and stuff. Pac-Man Jr., obviously, is their seed. And Pac-Man Jr., uh, after Yo, you, you need to back up, man. You're getting well, in my, you're in my face. But, uh, but Pac-Man Jr., uh, in, in the little story after you beat that first level, he's trying to play with a ghost, like a little like a little kid ghost uh, named Yum Yum, and like, oh, they're going to be friends. That's adorable. But then Pac-Man's, uh, Pac-Man Jr.'s mom, Miss Pac-Man, comes, eats one of the huge pellets to scare the ghosts away, and both of those, so it's like it's about segregation. It's insane. Like, I didn't know there was this huge backstory. Are you high to, right now, motherfucker? To Pac-Man Jr. Our entire audience just... Our entire audience just <laughs> loaded their own guns and pointed them to the top of their heads inside their mouths. Gilmore, Dude. I'm looking at your phone right now. You were telling me earlier that you can stalk three different Guamanian boys at once with that thing. <laughs> Yet, while you're at the laundromat, you're just pumping quarters into the Pac-Man game? Gilmore, not only is this... You had like a transcendental experience with this piece of shit game from 1984. It's like West Side Story, but it's like the Battle of Gettysburg at the same time. Gilmore, you basically could have just babbled about how fucking worthless your life was. What you just said made all of us fucking... I don't know whether to feel sorry for you or just want to put you out of your misery. That was one of the most pathetic diatribes I've ever heard. It was awesome. I I had no idea that 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 anything to this. In the context of your life, I agree. It was probably awesome. 